Hi, I'm 31 Union today. I want to introduce you to my three most played games of the last month or so. Even though I've been recording some horror games uh, now and then, I want to tell you the three main games that I've been playing recently, not the ones I recorded for, li for like one hour, half an hour, and then edited and posted. I want to tell you my, not my favorite games, I'll not say my favorite games at all, but the, the games I've been playing. So with no further ado, let's see the third most played game of mine. So the top three, uh, we have Minecraft. <laughs> Looks like I'm I'm doing a presentation for like a, I don't know some kind of topic, but no, I'm just saying the games I've been playing. Anyway, Minecraft honestly has been my favorite game since 2011, 12, something like that. When the Minecraft content in general started blowing up and all these things. I've been a fan of that since that time. I believe you know some things about this game. It's the blocky game. It's the dream speedrun world record and manhunt uh, game. And yeah, you can do so much stuff in this game. But recently it's the least of the ones I've been playing more recently. Um, so yeah, let's keep going, let's see the top two. So for the top two, we have Raft. If you didn't know, probably you know already. Raft has been completed. The game is now totally launched. I've been playing alone. Yeah, that's kinda sad. I have been playing that since the time I'm recording, like... I started playing three or two days ago, but I played all day long. I haven't done much recently. That's why I'm recording this video, because I, I need to take anything from the time I spent playing Raft. That's why I'm putting Raft here, because I played for 18 hours Raft in almost just a day. That's kind of sad, but Raft, uh, if you didn't know, it's a game where you have a Raft with you in a ocean. You have to discover the lore, but y you can tell that the world has been submerged, it's all a big ocean and you find some islands and you have to go through all the lore and stuff like that. But the survival aspect of the game is you have to collect resources and manage them well to not die from hunger, from thirst, from shark bites, because you always have a shark around you and following you. So yeah, I've been playing Raft, and I think that that's all. The, I, I don't have much to say about it, I've been playing Raft. So yeah, let's go to the top one then. Let's see what's my most played game. And this one is my most played game of like the last three months or so. And that is Nonograms in PuzzlesMobile.com, to be more precise. You are probably not familiar with this kind of puzzle, but this is... um. How can I say? It? You know Sudoku, right? It's the most known one where you have to put the numbers in the right way for them not to go through each other. If you, you know, I don't know if you if you get what I'm saying. So anyway, this is to a totally different game. Basically, the point of the game is that y you have the, that numbers. I'm not watching the recording now, but imagine that you have three numbers like ten, three, and two. It means that there are a line of ten cubes, 10 squares, all together, and then there's 3 and 2, they are separated from the 10, 1. Basically every number is a group of squares, a line of squares. Uh, I don't know, just watch the footage I'm playing. Uh, nice, oh my god, I played it so well, nice, nice. And the funny part is that I spent around 15, may Sometimes 10 minutes, the, sometimes 20 minutes when I have to do it again, sometimes 30 minutes, because there's some that are just too bad, I don't know. So yeah, if you do the math, I spent around 300 hours playing this, that's sad. That's so sad to say. But uh, yeah, hopefully you like this video, I've been playing nonograms for the most part, if you can tell. And with that said, bye.